Hi, everyone. We're going to be working with number properties today and specifically multiplication and division with exponents. So let's get to it. Let's go to the scratch pad. We've got b to the ninth times b to the first times b to the first. And we know that when we multiply powers of v in this way, we have to add their exponents. So we'll have 9 plus 1 plus 1. Don't worry, there's no emergency. It's just 9, 1, 1. All right. Uh, this adds up to 10. This whole thing adds up to 11. So we'll end up with v to the 11th. Super. OK, let's try that again. Let's try 4 plus 3 plus 9. OK, so that'll give us 7 plus 9 is 16. So we'll end up with v to the 16. OK, how about this? All right, so we have 9 plus 4 plus 9. I'm going to do this in a fun way. I'll add these two together and get 18. 9 plus 9 is 18, and then 18 plus 4 is 22. So we'll have i to the 22nd power. OK, how about this? Well, we've got h to the 7th times h to the 9th times h to the 7th. So we have 7 plus 9 plus 7, which will give you 7 plus 9 is 16. 16 plus 7 is 23. So we'll end up with h to the 23rd. OK, now we have a slightly trickier one because we have stuff on the top and the bottom, numerator and denominator. So we add the exponents in the numerator and we subtract the exponents of the denominator. So in this case, we would have 5 plus 5 minus 8. So that would give us a total of 10 minus 8 is 2. So we should end up with t to the second power. And it's that simple. OK, how about this? We've got 6 minus 5 minus 2, because the 5 and the 2 are the denominator. So hmm, we're going to end up with something different here. We're going to end up with 1 minus 2, which is negative 1. So that's going to tell us that we have a negative exponent. So we end up with f to the negative first power. Nice work. Thank you. OK, this one's going to be fun. right? So we end up with 4 plus 5 minus 9, which is 9 minus 9, or 0. Interesting. So this is h to the 0. Now, we know that anything to the 0 is 1. So if, if 1 were an answer down there, that would be OK. But it's not. h to the 0 is the answer. So we'll just go with that. h to the 0 is fine. I have to get rid of get out of scratch pad. h to the 0. Cool. OK, how about this? Well, we've got 9 minus 2 minus 5, which will give us 9 minus 7 or 2. So this should be j squared. Awesome. OK, how about this? Well, we've got 3 minus 2 minus 9. So this will give us 1 minus 9 or negative 8. So we should be looking for t to the negative 8. Great. OK, that's, that, that's confusing. I mean, that's, that's an O. That's a, the letter O. That's not a 0. So there are actually two ways we could do this. We have O to the 7th and O to the 7th. So we can just kind of cross them out like that. And then we just get 1 over O to the 3rd. And 1 over O to the 3rd is just O to the negative 3rd. But another way of doing it 
is to do what we were doing before, which is 7 minus 7 minus 3, and we get negative 3 that way too. So either way, it's O to the negative third. Here we've got a little extra time. Let's go ahead and do some, some more. Let's do the next level here. Ah, okay, so we've got, you know, we have three things on top and one thing on the bottom, but I think you guys get the pattern here. Uh, we'll just do 7 plus 9 plus 6 minus 1. Okay, so 7 plus 9, 16. 16 plus 6, 22. 22 minus 1, 21. So the answer should be M to the 21st. Okay, we've got 4 plus 6 plus 4 minus 1. So we've got 10. 14, 13, so we should end up with Q to the 13. All right, I think you guys get the hang of it. I uh, look forward to the next lesson and hope you guys have a great day.